But please don't say to John if you ain't saying it twice. And if you don't ask to God, you ain't saying it twice. Victory such a sweet revenge. Breaking out all the boxes they tried to keep me in. Made it through all the obstacles and proceed to win. All along, I'm the one that they was believing in. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the Stock Room Podcast. Terrell, how are you doing, sir? I am good, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> Tonight, we are joined by John John the Don. Special guest. Battle rap extraordinaire. You've probably seen him battle a lot of your peoples. How are you tonight, sir? Doing all right, man. Doing all right. Trying to survive like you over here. Uh, yeah. Allergies, man. Allergies are killing me. If y'all hear me tonight, it's that. I'm not sick. And COVID is over where we don't talk about it no more. Um. So, John, so we're going to get to know you a little tonight. We want to know your uh, your story. And then we go ask you some sneaker things. So you got some good Celtic ones on. Lucky Green, right now. No, they changed the name. They changed the name. Now they're, they're, they're Lucky Green. Now. Lucky Green. No more Celtics. They made Celtics that shoe because Mike had two. 60 on Bird's red neck. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> he from Indiana, dog. Definitely God. did. All right. Understand, Indiana white boy's neck is red. It's born that way. But John, where you from, John? Let us know where you from. I'm from Yonkers. You from Yonkers? Yonkers okay. I, I, I lived in Atlanta though, like more than half my life to okay. last half type shit. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So Atlanta's like the second home, pretty much. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What part of Atlanta? Shit, really? I've been all over Atlanta. I lived oh, okay. on the south side, west side, everywhere but the east side. I never okay. like lived on the east side, but I spent a lot of time, like summers and shit out there. Okay. But mainly on the north side, though, where Amigos is from, Lou Will, okay. Okay. Drewski, all them niggas, like, they from north, north. So north. So North Atlanta has the talent. How's the culture in Atlanta compared to y'all, like New York in general? Like growing up, well, not growing up, but like New living York. like half the second half of your life there. Yeah, well, um, shit, in Yonkers, though, like, Yonkers niggas didn't usually leave Yonkers. Yeah. Like, we, niggas ain't really play the city like that. We ain't really, like, furthest we was going was White Plains or something, like. <laughs> so, I, it wasn't until I went to Atlanta where I really started seeing other shit. In Yonkers, it was just inner city shit, shit that we see around. Like, yeah. Like, really, even niggas now, they, they don't got no vision beyond Yonkers, niggas that's there now, like. So me living, moving to Atlanta, I seen everything there though. Like, so you was there for like the Soldier Boy times with the race car jackets. Yeah, yeah. And then the yeah. lies with the straps. Yeah, I did a party at Soldier Boy Club. He owned a, a club called Excalibur. Okay. Matter of fact, like I, I I did the party that he was leaving when that shit happened when he said he shot the niggas and all. Oh that. shit! Yeah. That's okay. Crazy. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. Was he the first rapper in Atlanta to own a club? In Atlanta, that's like, yo, that's possible. That's the crazy part. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unless niggas been knowing that we ain't know. Yeah. Niggas own the club, but not legally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Niggas had... Did it happen like that? Did, did I know it? I say he's handling with that nigga, man. I don't know. I don't know what happened with that. I don't know. I wasn't there. Even <laughs> if he don't know, he right drank on said he did it. Everybody knew who did it and all that. Like, they knew who the robbers was. Yeah. Stupid. That's what I'm saying. They, was, they, they was, caught you without Instagram. You're a bad criminal. Sloppy work. Sloppy work. Yeah. So, you're a good rapper. Yeah. yeah. I'm always impressed by niggas that can really rap. Yeah. And not just fucking vibe. Yeah. That's the new shit. Niggas just sound good on the beat. And that's the song. They just say a goddamn thing. You can rap rap. Yeah. So, how did you get into rap and hip hop? Again, that's like in the city of New York shit. Like, you mm. see either a rapper, you play in sports, yeah. or like, my brother was rapping though. My brother was nice though. Hodge, he was nice. So he was popular all through Yonkers for being nice. So I'm running with him and his niggas. They like five years older than me. I couldn't go outside unless he was taking me outside. So, okay. so I was me, only yeah. doing what he was doing. So right. whatever he was doing, you know, I'm fucking with bitches five years older, <laughs> lying about yeah, my nah, age. That's a fact. That's and, a and fact. These niggas was rapping, and I always felt like since I'm the youngest, they not really going to take me serious. So that just made me want to get better. And mm. then once niggas started saying that my brother was writing my shit for me, that's when I knew I was nice. Oh, they thought he I, was writing. Yeah, I ain't feel no way. Like, I, that's when I knew I was nice. 
Like, nah, that's his brother right yeah, there. Like, nah, that's me. me. That thing is nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, so that's that's when that. And I was just feeling like, can't no nigga my age at that time fuck with me because look at who I'm rapping with. Five niggas that's five years older and nice. There's no way I'm running into anybody my age rapping the shit that I was rapping. So right. I was starting, like, yeah. with that mentality, like, to just be the better rapper type shit. So when you started rapping, you knew you wanted to do, like, battle rap? Or was it, like, you just you wanted to structure it, do songs? Like, what yeah, was I it? didn't even think that far. I was just whatever we was doing at the time. So before the studio, yeah. all we had was verses. Yeah. The only way somebody going to hear a verse is if you let them hear a verse. So it would yeah. be ciphers. Right. You know what I mean? So... And then I became, since I was at a younger age, I became the nigga that that's all they knew me for. That's little John John. So anytime I'm going to Yonkers, I would get stopped everywhere. I'm talking about from ages fucking eight to like 15. Everywhere I'm going, yo, let me hear something. So mm. it was more so like me keeping, you know, it keeping me on my shit. So I knew yeah. anytime I went outside, I had to have a verse. If I, if I got like three, five verses, and this is happening to me every day. A lot of these niggas is hearing these verses over and over. So when they get to a point where niggas is saying a verse with me, and they know it. I gotta <laughs> yeah. go right and yeah, switch gotta, it up. Yeah. <laughs> so that just and I and I it drilled in my mind. So I wasn't. That's just what we had. And then once I got to the studio, my uncle put us in the studio, told me how to count bars and shit. Mm. That's what we was doing. But starting out, I just had verses. So these verses were ciphers. And then it was battles. So John, John, we got some nigga over here that rap. Like, yeah. I got to come with these same verses, but I got the extra that I'm writing yeah. on top of it. So I was the nigga that had wow verses. So I was the, I'll probably be the first nigga rapping and the last nigga rapping in every cypher type shit. So you had unlimited balls. Unlimited. Like, that's all it was. Like, so anytime I rap, it's, it's a rap. I feel like I'm doing myself a disservice when I don't rap because that's one thing that's been consistent in my life, like my ability to rap. Right. You no, know, one time you could be nice at basketball, like so yeah. you just not that no more. Like or you could just be nice at something. Yeah. It's just like yeah. rap is one thing. Every time I said, you know what, I'm gonna rap and I rap, it actually like worked for me. You know what I mean? So That's I done tried everything else, but you remember, you remember your first battle in Yonkers? First one in Yonkers, um, Or how probably, old you was? He's how probably old you was? irrelevant. <laughs> this is prior. He's like, yeah. Nah, I, I ran up on Jay Hood before one time. I mm. ran up on Jay Hood. Oh, yeah, Jay Hood from y'all, right? Yeah, yeah. He was on my Somewhat. block. Somewhat. Yeah. yeah. And we and we knew about Jay Hood because he was like the first nigga like really marketing himself. Like, okay. When it was like parties and shit, Jay Hood had posters up. The hood niggas wasn't doing that. Like, yeah. Jay wasn't Hood his was, mom's helping him or some shit? Like, probably. Or some shit like that. He probably. Was saying? Yeah, I don't know. Energy. That's when he was Jay Love. So niggas knew Jay Love, and because of that, he was popular, but niggas wasn't really like, you know, a lot of niggas in the hood thought he was corny. Uh, you know, you, you get that type of shit, yeah. like that kind of hate. You know what I'm saying? But he was popular, so one day he was just on my block, and I just ran up on that nigga and started dumping. He, <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't say nothing back. He was like, yo, shorty, you nice, like, but he ain't. Because I felt like he didn't want to get into a back and forth with a younger wanna, nigga. He didn't like, want to lose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I was really dumping. And you, and you on my block, nigga? So they going crazy. Like, yeah. He was like, oh, nah, you nice. Like, almost like a fake stamp. But, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I, yeah, it was just like little local shit. Like, a lot of a lot of the battles would be at school. Like, the blocks would just be, um, like, I mean, one time we went to Lincoln Projects. Uh, battled some niggas over there. I don't remember nobody's name. It was just on site a lot of times, though. Like, yeah. It was just on site a lot of times. Was you nervous? I was never nervous. Nah. Well, you, you said you used to yeah, rap all the time the on the spot. Was, like, so he, he was the one running was, down on it. Never, yeah. I was never nervous. It was yeah. confidence. It was just like, when it comes to rapping, that's what I'm saying. It's one thing. That's one thing that's been consistent. I always like, if I rap, I like, I'm, I'm realistic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm going to know if I write something trash. Like, I trust my judgment over mm. anything. Like, yeah. So if I got a verse that I'm comfortable with or anything like that, I'm confident in that. So it doesn't matter who's there. Like, it was a point in time where I couldn't wait to show off type shit. Yeah. Like, me and a couple of my niggas would be in the room, and it'll be like, we, we really trying to instigate a cypher. Yeah. Yo, who rap? You know what I'm saying? Like, who rap? We starting once the battle. Once we got one, like it's like, fight. I bet, once we, once, after this happened, they're going to know who we are. Like, it was that type of shit with me. Like, it was that type of confidence. When it came to this, like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so that's, so that's, uh, 
that's the main thing I always focused on. So I can just, yeah, I don't get nervous though. I really don't get nervous. That's fire. Biggest battle of my career, niggas be asking when I battle Hitman Holler. That's the first time we in front of thousand Diddy there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, um, and they asked me oh, how you was feeling, like darn, cause you know that's one of Hitman's greatest first rounds. Mm-hmm. And I'm a rookie. It's my first year on Smack. So they like, like, yo, this nigga's going crazy in front of thousands of people. Like, how was you feeling? And I'm like, yo, the craziest thing. Regular. In that moment, not regular, I was overconfident. My mindset was, I'm listening to him. And at the time, I thought it was light. I'm going to keep it a thousand. <laughs> I thought they was gassing him. I'm like, oh, but in my head, I'm like, yo, if they going crazy for the shit that you got, wait till, wait till, wait till the shit. Like, that's, that's how I was feeling the whole time. You can see it in my face. I'm talking to the niggas behind them. Like, yo, y'all like that? Mm. Y'all, y'all like that? Like, that's like spades when you yeah, know. So it was the opposite for me. I know like, I'm cutting diamonds, nigga, but keep blowing them shits out. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't realize Had the a hand. of that shit until weeks later when it dropped and I got to watch it back. I was so zoned out. I wasn't even in the moment. I was just. When I watched it back, like, oh, nah, that was some other shit in there. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I don't know how I stood in front of that. That nigga Hitman was bombing up there. <laughs> Shout out to Hitman. Shout out to Hitman. Yeah. That's my guy. So how did... Uh, like, politically, nobody. Mm. Um, But nobody lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I feel like nobody lost. I feel like with shit like that, the political answer be like hip-hop one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate Fans when niggas one. say hip hop one. one. Nah. Yo, Jova, let me get that toilet paper behind you. <laughs> but I can oh. say I was like, oh, yeah. in my oh opinion, damn. I can say I won. In four K. But if somebody 4K. else say he won, in their opinion, I get it. Yeah. Like you like that shit more. Like, has there been a battle you felt like you was under, like prepared for it? Like, uh, damn, like I ain't really put my best foot forward. I mean, yeah, you yeah. might have yeah. underestimated. Somebody yeah. he was going against? Yeah, yeah, not underestimated. It was just, um, the mindset was a little different. It was mm. more so like battling from a sense of comfort versus a sense of, of, of hunger. Hunger, You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that type of shit plays into everything when it comes to a battle. Like, how you feel about a nigga, how you feel about the moment. Yeah. You think this shit is just, I'm just here for a bag. That shit shows in a nigga's performance. Like, oh, uh, okay. You just here yeah. to, you know what I mean? Yeah. You here to make a statement. That type of shit show. Like some Cassidy I mean? shit. Yeah, like, just, <laughs> yeah. Cassidy, <laughs> he's trying, man. Cassidy is trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, but sometimes you just gotta stop. What do you think about this thing he got? Yeah. Nah, I think he should keep doing it. I uh, think the more he battles, the better he gonna be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think he I, still I, lives off that freeway situation. <laughs> like, he go into every situation thinking, like, he battled with free on Hot right. 87. You think again. it's 2002 like, still. <laughs> like, and it's him that, and bro. Keith Murray need to relax. Yeah, yeah, Keith Murray need to relax. Cash, though, Cash is good, though. He good for the culture. He good. Yeah. Like, he good. And he started as, like, a battle dude. And then he got on. And I guess he, he kind of lost that. Dude to a bunch of niggas that wasn't battle dudes. Like, okay. Yeah. He's moving around the industry as the only nigga that's you know, ready mm. to battle. And at the time, these big rappers is not yeah. rapping with Cassidy. Cassidy was rapping with the other niggas that was trying to make a name for themselves. And he was just better than all of them niggas. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't really know, like, his history, like, battling on the street in Philly. Yeah. Because, like, the first time I he even seen him. Well, he, was I had it. he was with Swiss. They had, they had, so. they had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They used to be in the studio having ciphers and all that. They had the game. They brought the game there one time. And they niggas, them niggas in like some cipher battle. Like that shit used to go down in the Rough Rider studio. Like, yeah. yeah. So Cash, we used to hear about Cash and Yonkers like on Underground. We heard like the legend and shit. Like when he be talking this shit, yo, I used to run through all these. He could, I don't be mad when he be talking that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah. ain't nobody do nothing to him to make him shut up though. Like, yeah, he got some type of argument every time. Like, ain't nobody really violate the nigga. Everybody he battled, like, probably beat him. Like, I feel like Hitman beat him. I feel like Arsenal beat him. I feel like Goods beat him. But nobody like killed him. Like, he's still out here. Yeah. He needs he needs a win. To his next battle, Look, he needs talking win. about him right now. Like, yeah. all this shit is he talking about his help. losses though. I mean, <laughs> We talking about the Knicks, like yeah, they exist, but do they win? Nah, hold on, the Knicks is lit right now. I know, hold I'm on. a Nick hater, but you know y'all hold doing on. all right. Big lit right now. Yeah. Uh, well, they 
Uh, listen, this. I, uh, Did you feel anybody not run up on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I think a couple niggas did. I think Surf did. I think mm. Sean did. Sean. Um. Surf is nice. Huh? Surf is nice. Nice. Surf is fire. Surf yeah. Is fire. Surf um, is nice. I love the honesty, though. I think that's and niggas would be like, nah, nigga, ain't nobody get one up on me. Nah, I mean, you ain't been to war if that's yeah, the case, that's bro. Like, fact. nigga, we the, we the best in the world. Like, yeah. look at the niggas I just named, the ones that say I lost. Right. Surf and k Shine. Right. You know how many um, niggas they ran to? Calico, bro. Yeah, me and Cal was supposed to battle. Cal keep. Yeah. Yeah, Cal is, Cal is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna Cal. just hear it in the camera, scared. Yeah, like, and that's the kid. He weird, and then when that, when I ain't saying nothing, he now he's doing interviews. He want to battle me. He's doing tweets and all of that. But when it's something ready to get set up, he it's some other shit with him. Like he trying to build it. It's like boxing. Nah. Like niggas want to buy the fight. The more them niggas argue. But the fight is already sold. Who don't want to see me in Calico? Who won't pay for that? He, it ain't even like. <laughs> He trying to get him true. Booking. Like niggas want to book it. Yeah. Like it ain't even like he might, he might want to make it bigger. Like nah, we can get more if we like nah, drag it. Nah. I don't know if that's his mind state. Never I know. I don't think that's what he's on. Just he just of, ducking. Yeah, I think it's the same. Ducking smoke. He ducking wreck. Oh. He not trying to suit up. He working out. Cal tough though. Cal one of the right. niggas. Yeah, he like that. Cal would honestly be like one of my toughest battles because he's hard to figure out how to beat because it could just be that night where they just like this different shit. Like, Cal will rap about whatever the fuck he want to rap about. Like, yeah, ain't gotta have nothing to do with you. He talk about the his bricks and people sold ten years ago. He talking about like, yeah. come on, like who he rolled up. Like, like come on, like <laughs> the niggas talk about some other shit. But I like it though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what make them different. What's one of the most disrespectful lines you probably said to somebody? That I said to a nigga? Yo, they be wild. <laughs> yeah, Yo, y'all they be, be talking about a nigga dead mother. Y'all be though, face right? to face, Yo, screaming, I, rhyming words that hurt. Yeah, yeah I don't know. And don't, he just got to stand there and watch. I, I'm going next. Don't worry. Niggas really be doing their homework. Sure. Like, yeah. niggas that go in and find out your girl fucked your right hand man 20 years ago. Nah, it was, like, it was shit like, is wild. It was one, it's one verse I had, one one round I had that was going to be the most personal yeah, do it. shit. I, I I couldn't get to it. Oh, okay. I killed the nigga in two rounds. Oh. Uh, the way he reacted so he's in lucky. the second round, my nigga. He's lucky. The way he reacted in the second round, I swear to my son, I was plotting on getting that reaction. In my third, third round, so I was really trying to get under his skin, like, like I had too much. So that's after the battle happened. Niggas offered me money to drop the, the third yeah. round, all types of shit. Oh, but I never wanted to do it because the battle was, it was over. over. I beat the nigga in two uh. rounds. All I'm gonna do now, I'm picking on him. Now, my nigga, if I would have dropped this third round, they would have had angles on that nigga from that round till right now. Like, it's, it's, it's a career bunch of shit killer. That niggas don't know that ain't said nothing. Like, so mm. I feel like I would have been messy. Dropping that round after the fact. I don't and there's no chance like for that. a rematch. There's no chance. Hell right, no. So you, you swept the third. The third is over. over. It's over. Plus, you got a hundred piece, mommy. And I ain't saying no to no hundred piece again. Yeah, man. You just got to be like, yo, bro, this is business. Facts. You hit him with that line. That's how you know you snake the nigga. Right. You know, it was business. And what the fuck that mean? Nigga? Yeah, but that was the most personal I get. <laughs> Other than that, I don't really be... I don't gotta go that way. I feel like niggas that's doing that's for a cop out. You're not really nice, nigga. Like we don't have beef for real. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? What I feel like when I look like area larger, yeah. I'm just here to show you I'm better at rapping than you. Like these niggas that be doing that, it's a cop out. Like, personal. Um, do beef come from that though? From them battles? Like do do it turn into that sometime? Yeah, like beef. I mean, you had some fights and all of that. Like you had. A nigga got shot in a battle before. A nigga got stabbed at a battle too, right? I just yeah. seen some shit. I on, could imagine uh, that because these are some. You I know, seen some shit on the gram. To, like <laughs> there was some white, white person battling black guy. He <laughs> said, "Yeah, he's like." Said some racist shit. Yeah, he said, "I heard I can't say nigga." So he said, "Let me." Call, he's about to say, "Let me call you a bluff." And he said, "Nigga, nigga popped on him." Ah, that nigga folded though. He was like, "Oh nah." Yeah, yeah. He tried to go viral, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. yo, that's wild. Yo, like, what happens when people fight in battles? Do you know get saved? Like, what, what happens? It depends on who you are. Like, 
It depends on who you are, to be real. Like, if 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 you worth it to book again, niggas is ignoring all of that. Like, if, yeah. if you bringing some money in, yeah. So if you John Morant, no written agreement. Like, take a week off, kid. But if you don't got nothing else to offer except for this bullshit, like, yeah, it's over. like it's, yeah you clip. It's, it's over. You ain't you not even worth all that. All right, so who is on your Mount Rushmore for battle rappers? Who's not including yourself, though? Yeah, but like, I, I want to include myself. Take yourself out of it, but, like... Four is tough, though. Four is tough. Um, definitely Moot. Okay. Oh, yeah. Definitely Moot. Um, that do-rag is legendary. Uh, I, remember, I remember him and Lovett battled in Harlem in that fucking Lovett store. Yeah. yeah. Smack. I get I get I get iffy with Lux. I can't take him out of it, but it's so much uh like I feel like certain shit, like I feel like putting Mook there is a representation for Lux too in a certain yeah. kind of way. Like I don't know. Lux I smoke like, calico too. I feel like DNA is there. Okay. Okay. Longevity what he did, how many times he reinvented himself, how many times he's been counted out, his win ratio. Uh, the, the events he's been on, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Everything he's done, every platform he's touched, BET, stars, yeah. every like all yeah. that shit. Cyphers, like, yeah, yeah, he went crazy. DNA is probably the, the the um probably like the hardest working nigga in battle rap. One of the hardest working niggas in battle rap. Fire. And he's the most consistent. Like, and he freestyles. He's one of the best freestylers. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I gotta put disaster there. Okay. Okay. He's a representation of the West and that type of shit. And um, the last one is tough, man. Probably Tay Rock. Mm. Okay, that's not a bad choice. Probably Tay Rock. It's a good lineup. I just I remember like when I was growing up watching Smack and shit. Niggas used to always pump Rex. I don't know what T Rex. No, like like pump. Oh, oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's kind of like niggas. Yeah, you took a lot of big L's. And that'll it kind of a lot of wild. Yeah. It'll took a lot of wild shit like, on that shit. You can't kid, keep man. losing to the niggas he was losing to. Like you gotta win them shit. But that's a point. sense of, of a nigga not caring or seeing right. The point yeah. of exactly. That too. Yeah. Like look yeah. at who Rex is. Rex is like Rex is a, a Rushmore candidate. Like he's, yeah. a, he's like a he's like the goat. So now you putting them, you booking him against niggas that he don't even know nothing about. Like yeah. so yeah. what is like how is he supposed to be motivated for this? Yeah. Like how is it? It's nothing to gain here. You put Rex in front of somebody like Lux, we are gonna see the best Rex we ever seen in life. Well, yeah. Put him, put him in front of somebody that so he feels like level. he's gonna be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, what it's I'm saying? worth like, it in a sense. That's that was the only downfall of Rex. He was just taking too many of those battles that he didn't care about. Like, don't take battles you don't care about, my nigga. Like, yeah. I learned my lesson the hard way, and like, I don't, I don't take battles for the money. Like, I ain't just like. Yo, let me get this money. Let me take this battle to get this money. This is not going to get give the best performance. Yeah. And then that bag can cost you all types of future bags after that. True. That one performance is clipped. Yeah. You ain't about yeah. to be asking me for all types of money. I just saw you get on stage and bomb. <laughs> no, that's, like, that's I, a like, fact. You can't. You, that's it's a all fact. your leverage. So yeah. you can't be. Nah, these niggas be doing that. They just try to. You remember the battle of uh, Rex versus Uncasa? Man. <laughs> Yo. I heard that on the radio. I'm gonna burn you. I'm gonna burn hey, you. listen, man. There's a lot of classic uh, nigga Kostler, heck battle like. rap moments. Yeah. Like the styling on you, nigga. Yeah. And then that well, was- I gotta ask this question because he's my boy. How you feel about Conceited? That's my nigga too. Yeah, but that's my guy. He's not ready to come back. Khan, don't do it. No, you don't think so? No. He ain't rapped in a minute. He been yeah, he been yeah. chilling. Yeah, wild, wild, I just think they just wild, wild. I mean, wild. hey. It's too hard to kill him. Like yeah. as far as Yeah, just you because know how it is but yeah. I look like, conceded's hard, very like, clever and I think he know that. Nah he is. And he gonna use that to his like he's gonna spin that in some way. It'll be his delivery. Khan's delivery is gonna be exactly the way it is on Wild and Out. Khan is my man. Khan is my nigga. Khan is one of the most official, humble niggas. Ever that I ever met, period. That's my nigga. Yeah. But I feel like even he knows this. I feel like, like he knows. That's like, why he ain't, he ain't come they back. Try to put him against niggas like Rum Nitty and all. You better not, God. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. you better not. Well, uh, niggas that's hungry. They yeah. gonna go. Where do you feel like battle rap started? And where do you feel um, Philly holds in that sort of shit? Could you say it had anything? Hell. 
Hell yeah. Philly got a thousand. Philly, Philly, you know what's crazy? Philly kind of, Philly was like my introduction to the shit on YouTube. Like when I started watching shit on YouTube, I was watching Philly, like it was Reed Dallas. That's why it was a big deal when I got a chance to battle Reed Dallas to me because cause that was before Smack. That was before Grind Time. Like watching Reed Dallas, me and my niggas used to watch that. And then one day, my nigga Saya, he called me like, yo, you got to see this nigga Conceited. Mm. So then I started watching Conceited. Conceited was in the park. He was in the yeah. jungle and all of that. And that led me into Grind Time. I started watching Grind Time. Then I fucking... Um, then I saw one of the videos. It was like, yo, we going to be in Atlanta. I was in Atlanta at the time. Yo, you want to be a part of this email? I emailed them niggas. They ain't hit me back. Then I speak to my nigga, Sire. Sire was like, yeah, I got this grind time battle. I said, damn, hey. I emailed them niggas too. They ain't hit me back. Like, mm. found out they switched the email, so I had the wrong email. Then I find the right email and um, send them some shit. I'm like, yeah, I don't know if that know who I am. One day I'm going to be hosting this shit. I'm a promoter. I'm about to bring wild people here. I'm I'm hyping myself up. He's like, all right. Put me against they best nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Made it the main event and all that. Got on there and, and lost. Mm. That was my first battle, so that was grind time. But, yeah, to answer your question, like, yeah, Philly, like, that was my introduction. So it was up there, like, you know what I mean? But once it got organized, Philly couldn't really keep up. Once it became... The bookings, the three rounds, the cards, flyers. Because, mm. you know, when they was battling, they was just meeting up. Yeah. Just street, out yeah. They just going to different niggas' hoods. Once it got organized, that's when Philly couldn't really keep up. They couldn't have a, a set platform until now. They got Battle Academy and shit like that that's, that's doing shit. But, yeah, but where it started at, I think the real, the essence of it, like, really, was Smack DVD, man. I mean, niggas been battling forever. Yeah. Hip hop was built on battles, whether it was dance battles, DJ, battles, yeah, DJ, shit, like yeah, DJ party. and all that. Yeah. But battle rap, what we know it today, so right. organized shit, yeah, came a long way. Yeah. Cause you gotta think, Smack put it on a platform where my niggas actually could see it. Yeah, of hearing about before it. you had to be there. Now yeah, you like can a see lot it. of those battles you heard, like it's more like word of mouth. Like mm-hmm. yo, that battle was crazy. But when Smack was able to like record that shit. Yeah. And then DVDs and bootleg CDs and shit was, and that was like the highest most peak. Entertaining shit on the Smack DVD. Yeah, 100%. You can battle. Because that was at the end. Yep. That they would have it at the end. Like if the, the guest was whack, I was, yeah, like, I was yeah. skipping right to the end. If the guest yeah. was whack, if whoever was on the, the front. Right. That's well, a fact. I'm front, fast forward. Watching the battle. Yeah. Yeah, like, only nigga I'd probably stop and listen to for laughs and giggles is my nigga Shade Davis. Yeah. Oh, oh, legend. My nigga Punch. Legend. You hear me? Pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop. You never seen a fitted hat that big uh, in your life. Yo. My nigga said the laws these days don't make no sense. How the fuck crown no pay that pays my yeah, rent? Yo, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. the hardest ball. My nigga went crazy on that. I'm like, nah, Shane Davis, you hear me? Yeah. And he, re- he reenacted uh, the pay the full shit mm-hmm. too. <laughs> yeah. They kidnapped uh, book uh, this nigga Ace. That they shit was kidnapped a uh, little brother. Yeah, that nigga's retarded. Sonny. Yeah, nigga's Sonny. He said, I knew that's that you, Shay That was real, Davis. too. You know that? I know that's you, Shay Davis. That was real. Hey, that was Smack Brother. I thought that was Smack Step Brother, I heard. I heard it's a Step Brother. That's what I heard. I heard that. Because he, him and, him and uh, Smack pulled up to my hood. Right. Yeah, let's go, yeah. You from Queens? Nah, well, second. That's my second home, but I'm from Salvia in the Bronx. Yeah, Bronx. So let's talk some sneakers now. Talk some shoes. I got on reimagined threes. These are whatever. Oh, he got on. Whatever. Yeah, they That's whatever. No, because we going man. down the line. Hold on. <laughs> He's trying to be modest. It's a shoe See that shit? Year. No, you trying to be humble. We're going to get to you. <laughs> then we got, what's this? Lucky like Greens, shits. they call them now, right? Lucky Green. One. Celtic Greens. Man. Used to be Celtic so- Green. The story for these was Jordan had... 63 on the Celtics yep. in a jo- in the Chicago. They should have called them 63. Yeah. So they, had, they, they came it. out with a pack with those on like right. way. And it was mids like too. And they were they was all right. We dealt with it. No, nah, there wasn't mids. They was highs. They just wasn't OG highs. Oh, shit, was mids, bro. Had a jump man on them. Yeah. On the tongue and in the back. Nasty. Ah. See it. But anyway. This is the OG high. These are the poor. Nah, 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 nah. 
No, yeah, for nah. sure. Those are the real ones right here. No, that's that's the ones I got that I could afford. Oh. Those are like a hundred something. Yeah, I'm a convenient sneaker nigga. Like my brother a sneakerhead, and people around me like would keep me like, yo, you want these? You want these? And I'll say, yeah, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to buy them. Like that's how I don't really like when certain shoes about to drop and just waiting for them. Like. I'll know shoes is about to drop, and I got the option if I want them. Like I got to genuinely like them. Right. Yeah. I'm not like a hype nigga. Like you know, no, what I'm that's saying? good. My brother though, everything. get into it. Yeah, that's what he do. Like he he's crazy. He got Paradise Garden. That's his uh, clothing line and shit. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, he he kept me right in high school. He been like that since he was like 16. He always had all the sneakers type shit. So. And when I was when I first got to high school, every pair of sneakers that came out that year, he was buying two pairs, his size and my size fire. every time. So I was his just brother. fucking them up in high school with shit. <laughs> like I didn't have to buy not one pair. I'm talking about every one. I remember all the joints that came out that year, the uh, the thirteens with the with the burgundy gray. Yeah, oh, that's oh five. Great yeah. show. Yeah, oh five. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that whole year. Look how I know that. Let's see, I'm yeah. Yeah. all black force. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah, um, all like all them shits. Yeah, I had like every like all of them, my nigga. Like with the uh, they came out with the white and the sky blue on the bottom. The packages, oh the five. five. Remember the package with the burgundy shit. It came oh. out with another pair. It was so like about the gray. white with the, the sky blue at the, the bottom. UN, it's like the. It wasn't UNC 13s, but it was a white and baby blue pair. Was it missed? Some shit like Might that. Have been. Lows? Might have been some... Nah, hell no. Nah, it wasn't the lows. It was highs, white and gray, blue yeah. bottom. Yeah, they came out with some 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 lows like that, I think, eventually later on. Yeah. But at that time, nah, them packages, I had them shits. But, but yeah, so sometimes they'll let me know, like, these shits is about to drop, and I'll just, all right, but yeah, I want them type shit. All right. You had convenience on your up, side. Though. Yeah, like, you got I some got pieces. Some shit. My shit is up, yeah. but I ain't gonna act like I wanna, like just general, like, like style or. Or this your favorite sneaker ever? Like, what was your the, the sneaker? Like, yo, that was my favorite sneaker I ever had. Oh shit! Um, it might have been the um, favorite sneaker I ever had. It's two of them. I had the um. The black and red at the time, the black and red 13s. Okay. Fire. The, yeah, the classic shit. Fire. Was my favorite shit. And um, I like the, uh, the the red the red phone posits that came out that one year. That, uh, Niggas Which one, stabbed. though? Nah, he talking about the, the right the, ones. The metallic red or yeah, the red with the, the swoosh? Right. Nah, he talking <laughs> The nah, metallic red, the, the real that see that started the phone buzz a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when the mom and pop started so, charging four fifty. And I could have slapped the shit out of Abdul when he told me that shit. Yeah. And I bought him anyway because I'm a dickhead. Yeah. But I walked in the nah, store. I'm like, yo, bro. I need something like that for them, too. How I much for the red phones? Four to fifty. I said, well, get the fuck out of here. Since when? Since when niggas could charge that for sneakers, nah, bro? they did a midnight release. Niggas, and I remember yeah. niggas, that shit, 34th shoe was bad. I, walked, I went in the morning because I was talking to some joint. That, that was a that tough shoe, bro. Out. That shit was all right. was That's on. when shoes used to really sell out for real, for real. Like you would see them shits every day. I think that was the first shit used to shit hurt. Like that, that I bought myself, like yeah, like, like pricey like that. Like, I That's when sneakers like used to hurt. Like if you didn't get them, you would see them every day. Now when you see sneakers that come out, you never fucking see them because yeah. everybody's selling them. Yeah. You don't see niggas wearing they fucking these. You don't see niggas wearing Boys, these. Like, we went to a sneaker show in Boston. I counted four people. Yeah. Four people in the city of Boston with green sneakers. Four niggas yeah. at a sneaker show. Because everybody's selling them, though. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. Listen, let me tell you little niggas something. Y'all better stop this shit. Go get comic books. People want to wear shoes still, man. They go fuck it up. And you know that they getting rid of foot lockers. We can't compete with these robots. Nah. Terrell ain't going to get sneakers no more. You like, all right. That's over. It's gonna be hard for you to some touch, people bro. In some higher places, yeah, see, he man. different though. But he, I shouldn't even have said he gonna get it. I ain't gonna be able to get shit. I I don't have his reach. You work here. You I don't need nothing. I'm be paying more now. How many? <laughs> the price nah. gonna go off for me. Shit, I don't nah. get no discounts. I'm paying what y'all nah. pay. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are two good shoes though. All right, we can talk about the shoes that. Who took these out? out? You? You took these out? Yeah, 
Uh, this is an easy pass for me. I don't know. That was is a terrible. Pass? Was I'm a not a rainy Air Forces. When we talk about like if, like if we would buy them or wear them, would you would like you wear it? Would you wear them for free? Is different though. Would you win the store CD? You copping these? Not necessarily, nah. But I can crush these though. I think we probably all. Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't spend no money on them. No, nah, yeah, yeah for the frisbee, yeah, I would wear. I wouldn't them buy the frisbee. I but mean, I would wear them like. You know he what? doesn't wear Air Forces. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you I was funny, right? This is what's funny. This is the same materials they use for off-white Air Forces. If this had some off-white silver shit on the inside, they would 100% wear these. But yeah. it's not an off-white Air Force. No, it's an ambush Air Force. Different. I like wearing shit that Oh, I like, like, oh, we got them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but why does this don't look like a 10 and a half? If you take this the swoosh like a, off and make like it a, a normal, like the silver off-white swoosh, they love it. Yeah, that shit like Because they... I, I, yeah. I 13. I feel like my feet are looking Wait, this look like this is a ten and a half. This is like a thirteen. I'm not an Air Force guy. I, I don't own any. I haven't worn them since like Nelly. You know what I mean? With them, uh, them, uh, the, them somewhere in America sneakers. What's that? Ah, that's my boy, yeah. Devlin. Yeah. Who's that? See a collective. Oh, the one that tried to make the shoe for Kyrie. Yeah. You know who he is. Who? The black dude from San Francisco. With the locks, he tried to make the shoe for Kyrie. He's like, yo, people, he changed the shoe for um, Montrez Harrell. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that, what's the name of him? Sia, Sia Collective. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay. That's my guy, so I'm not gonna say nothing bad. But I love what he's doing now. I, yeah, I, I he's got his own doing. brand that he made yeah, himself. I love what he's doing. He got his own models. He got his own shit. He got an NBA player endorse. He making. Yeah. He got Steph Curry wear some of his stuff. And he's doing shit from doing the ground up too. Do yeah, stuff for the kids. On a sneaker though, like, <sighs> I tried to not answer that. Oh, wow. um, would I wear it? I probably wouldn't. But listen, this I mean, the thing. This is his first shoe. He's starting out. He might not have a hit yet. No, but he no, might. He, he might shoes. get that hit. His, his, no, his shit. Shoes, it's just sell. Right? He got he a lot of pairs. Shit. This is my thing, right? So, I got introduced to to. His sneakers and shit. I don't know him. Never met the nigga. Mm-hmm. Nothing. See his sneakers. As far as, like, the designs of them, I feel like it's an acquired taste. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think, like, they just pop, like, the type of sneakers that I would like. Yeah. But I'm also looking at them like, you know what? These is these is black-owned. Damn, they're like some black-owned designer shoes. Exactly. So yeah. we watching yeah. niggas walk around with ugly shoes that they paying a lot of money for, but we accepting it because uh, we know how much you. they... Uh, oh, we know those Balenciagas. We know those Dior's. And we all agree and they ugly. Yeah. So it's like, even if my opinion is, yo, these shoes, they look kind of wild, but they ain't really my taste. But you know what? Because I just bought a pair. Uh, 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 when I seen that, I bought mm-hmm. a pair just... Just like with that mindset thinking, like I don't know that nigga from nothing. Like, yeah, it's just like a niggas, niggas, a it's like a supporting thing, and then like I fuck with it, so I could, like, like, like even if that was my man, I could talk about, you know, like yeah, the design is not my taste, yeah, but we can still yeah. talk positive about exactly, his, you know what I mean? His message, his movement, and shit <laughs> he does like a that. lot for the community, no. he do a 100%. lot for the kids. Yeah, it's not my particular taste, but I just feel too. like he didn't get his hit yet. He's gonna make that shoe. That's gonna be out of here. Just take time. Yeah, I and think people, what it know, is too is like, for what I've seen some of some shit, like he's trying to recreate certain shit. Like Yeezys. he does like a lot of yeah, Yeezy yeah, yeah, yeah. one, yeah, yeah. and it's kind of like nah. it's too much. It's, it's overkill. Hard. Like you nah. can't recreate nah, nah, something that a lot of glow in the dark shoes. Had a, yeah. It's not for me. Yeah, I you mean. So, I, I don't really care for that. I mean, I respect shit that, it, though. The shit that's going to look like somebody else's shit, I'm not really, like, the shits I got from them, they'll look like nothing that I've seen before. That yeah, was really what like it something was. different. I know if I put them on, niggas are going to pay more attention. Like, yo, what are those? Like, what's... Yeah, yeah. But the whole thing about that designer versus a black designer, people buy designs, they don't know who, they, who those people are. Exactly. They don't know who Gucci exactly. is. They don't know who Dior is. They can't reach them. They don't know what they the person look like. Nothing. They don't know who own it. So they like, oh, well... It's just there, they gonna grab. It. But if you know the person, for oh, make people not want it. Yeah. Like we, uh, you have to be somebody. Opposite. Like niggas had to be Jay Z had to be Jay Z to sell Rockaway. Yeah. Memphis Bleak couldn't have sold that shit. Yeah. Jay Z had to sell that shit. Yeah. You gotta be somebody. So it's and fucked even up. Even then, like a lot of people wasn't wearing a lot of like yeah shit. That but they respected it. Like yeah. we wore Sean's y'all because it was Puff. It wasn't Mace. 
I'm not wearing mace clothes. But if Puffy makes some shit, I'm uh, nah, not. <laughs> no. Nah, Mace nah, was the jiggy nigga, nigga from Harlem, bro. Clothes, they would have had shiny hoodies. Mace clothes. That's that Diddy. That's that not him. It doesn't matter. Diddy he did it. He, did. he, did. he like wasn't that. man enough to say, yo, Puff, I'm not wearing the shiny Yankee jersey. I'm good, bro. I'm from Harlem. Right, okay. This is you from Harlem. See, you getting too much money. You want to be Michael he Jackson? Think, we rap. You think niggas can say no to Puff? Big couldn't even say no to Puff. So let alone Mace. Nigga. I can say no to Puff. I don't know that nigga. If Puff want me but to put on some shit. But you wasn't in that shit. situation, so yeah, you could. I would have fucked no. my bag up. I'm telling you right now, I would have fucked it up. I would have had to go sign with Shug to get my shit right. <laughs> like, yo, this nigga wildin', bro. What we doing? I know a couple things. Let's talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, fuck the bullshit. Six nine shows you you can do anything. Hey, that shit only matters to black people. You know that he's even, in Africa even making African records with shit. Africa. You think they can't? He snitch? They can blur six. That do you name think out? in Sweden they give a fuck what a snitch is? You gotta understand the world bigger than New York, and people be like, "Yo, he's a rat." You don't even do street shit. You go to work. Let that go. Niggas think they they so conditioned to hang on to something they ain't. We ain't tough. We are the listener. Them niggas gotta do that. They gotta get security. We just listen and walk. Chill out. Thing is, whatever that nigga got going on ain't none of my business. Right. Yeah. I don't give a shit who he ratted on. I don't know them niggas. I don't do that stuff. That ain't none of my business, but... Yeah. But he just show but, kids I mean, you can do anything. I don't know. That's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, I don't even want to yeah. touch on See that. what I'm saying? I, that's See all, what I'm saying? That's all Everybody camera shit. Everybody legally nah. clean, and they don't want to talk about no fucking nah, it's all, fake street shit. Nah, that nigga ain't even street. Six nine ain't that. that. I'm talking about... He's a kiddo. That's a conversation off of this platform. We don't even yeah. need to... Talk about that on this platform. It's rap Off stuff. Off camera? It's rap stuff. I'm just saying, like, look. Nah, listen, we was bro. on to the sneakers. We, we yeah. spoke about rap. All right. You brought a rap. All right. We can, let's talk I'll about sneakers. On to the next shoe. See, six nine. These I fuck with. Yeah. I like these. Yeah. I fuck with them. I don't wear dunks, low, dunk lows often, but those are dope. I don't think I don't. Yeah. I don't really like, I don't really like wearing names. Oh, yeah. That's right on the front. Like, that got to show. Like, yeah. <laughs> you ain't covering that up. You can cut that off, though. It's some tie-dye shit underneath the leather. Oh, work? Yeah, yeah. They always got to make you work for the good part of the shoe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I could, yeah, I could fuck, I fuck with yeah. that. I'm not a dunk guy, so I would pass. So you don't uh, like that, that whole shape? Because you don't like... I don't really do navy blue, blue like that. And I don't like white sneakers too much, even though... But... Nah. How you feel about Jordan ones? I love Jordan ones. The ones I have, <laughs> I don't love all of them. I think, I think Nike went a little crazy, but that's what they do. They kill every shoe that we love. Yeah. We love Dunks in 2020, and they said, "Oh, you wait, huh?" The world opened up. We giving you every shade of pink and blue and panda, and people yeah, ate it up until now. They do that with every shoe, though. They, they did, did it with Hirachis. They yeah. did it with Vapor Max. They, they did, did it with Prestos. Yeah, they everything. did it with Air. They did it with Air Forces again. This is the second time Air Forces like trended. Label having the artists and just drop the wild albums. Like it's working. <laughs> but it'd be the same album with different beats. That's like yo, this is the remix top four. That's same that's songs though. With the shoes. How much? Right. How much? How much money did he made off remixes? A lot, but he only gave you two. They, bro. How, how much? <laughs> God damn. Like, how many Jordan 5s they, they going to make? Uh, how many remixes <laughs> they do in Jamaican music? I don't even listen to Jamaican music, like so I wouldn't 30. know. But I know it's something with rhythm and shit like and 30, all that. 40. And they'd be like eight That'd niggas be, on the same beat. No, but it'd be all different versions of it. I guess. What they call that? Clashing or some shit like that? I don't know. My girl West Indian. I'd be trying to, like, understand it. But I'm American like a motherfucker, so it's really not for me. Like Elephant Man did World's Greatest remix. I never heard it. I would <laughs> yeah, never know that. You remember that. That's oh, crazy. you know Jova, though. <laughs> he remembered that. That's in the playlist. Yo. That's too. Yeah, that was t- yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Everything. The R. Kelly joint? R. Kelly joint. Yeah, hey. That was for a movie, dog. He did a remix. Fuck Elephant your life. Man. With the blonde locks and the, the leather. Facts. Boy. What's over there? This this is a Nike SB uh try to get some shit. Fly Street. You try to get these. Try to get it's a nice shoe. It looks this look good. I say I like suede dunks. The tongue is nice, the good leather, nice colors. I like I like what they did with the swoosh here with the little thing. It's embroidered. You want them? Yeah. Never got back. 
Mm. Good rope laces. Comes with the other fat SB laces. It's a nice shoe. I'm not mad at it. Japanese writing on the inside. I don't know what that means. What are these supposed to represent? Like, like a feather or something like that? Yeah. So they made a shoe based around a feather? A feather probably represents something, though. Yeah, it's more than that, but... Oh, well, I will... This color makes the it makes it pop like that blue. It like the suede. Yeah, that. that's like Dodger now, blue. The shoe. Now they got to look at the whole shoe to see what's going on. It's a good shoe. Dodger see this? blue. That's like, nice. hold on, some shit going on. And I like this, this, this green. Yeah, that's nice. Neat. Cause that's a, a good as real SB with the fat tongue. The frisbee. Yeah. Oh fuck with him. You buying? To flip, bringing them here. <laughs> nah, but I'm just over the whole dunk. Oh, yeah. yeah, like they they going crazy. It's I got rid of all of mine, bro. I only kept like one, and I don't yeah. even wear it. It's too I much. I got like a lot of. I got like a lot of. Yeah, old, I kept a pair. I got of older. I got older pairs like the highs and shit. Right, I kept like, a pair of SB highs. Some sin helps. They just shit. wild with the the dunks. It's, it's gonna go back to like the early two thousands where niggas used to laugh at you for dunks, bro. Tr- dirt, niggas man. laughed at me in high school with dunks on, bro. I had a thicky shirt with the matching dunks, and niggas laughed at me. Cause wherever you, I was like, Word. wherever you went to high school, skateboarding probably wasn't. A thing. I wasn't even skateboarding. I was just I was on my saying. matching shit. I'm like, oh, the beige dunks with the beige dicky shirt. Wow, coming yeah, in Monday, fresh like, shape up. Fake Air finish me, yeah. Remember finish me at lunch. Up? Like nigga, what the fuck is those yeah, shits? I'm like, what them you fake mean? Air Forces, them fake forces. Like yeah. yeah. And then they got cool, I and I was like, wait, niggas I'm like not these now? I'm gonna lie to you, I ain't start wearing dunks until like a little bit after high, like that's B time. Yeah. Yeah, that's like 06, 05, yeah. 07. That's like when the streetwear kind of like really started popping. You had to have a ugly ass awful Dodger hoodie. <laughs> Thanks, Hove. So. <laughs> He started that bullshit. Them ugly ass hood man. What, them them, them ears? Yeah, I'm trying to remember the first pair of dunks I had. I remember it was First pair of dunks I had was GRs. And they was khaki and white low. They probably would sell out if they came out nowadays. But they laughed at me yeah. in high school, bro. I, I couldn't wear them shits no more. <laughs> and them shits crease crazy too. I ain't gonna hold you. The dunk. Yeah, the crease was nasty by six period. Cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah, now that matters now, like, you know, niggas is old now. <laughs> so now we think about shit like that, like more comfort, like different shoes. Cause some shits killed me. Um, what shoes killed me? I think I might have battled in fours before they fucked my Oh, yeah. Oh. Fours, fours are not known for comfort most Oh, my God. I battled in Tim's was more comfortable than them shits. Tim's are comfortable now. Yeah, they put like a yeah, they like they change them a little so right. Yeah, they don't crease as fast. I noticed that I had some Tim's a few years ago. Still heavy, man. Oh, How yeah. you feel about New Balance? Yeah, I still, you know what's crazy? You gotta get me. I, I understand like the hype, man. Like I don't know, I can't bring myself to buy no New Balance. Boy, you see, y'all are so oh, foolish. Nah, we gotta get him right. some New hold Balance. On, hold on, hold on, wait. We got to get him some new balance. tell you like this, right? Before Kanye went to Adidas, y'all wasn't wearing nothing Adidas. This is facts. Y'all was wearing track suits with Jordans. Niggas was wearing shell toes, though. That's nah, Stan Smith's shell toes. Shell toes. Right. So, yeah, Stan but you Smith wasn't toe. going crazy for them. No, no, you wasn't going crazy. You wasn't trying to kill those. Oh, those Jer- people was wearing Jeremy Scott's. People's but I'm talking Jeremy. about after the Jeremy Scott wave passed. Because it did pass. Taylor's. Like, not men, but women was going crazy for the Tiana Taylor's. That's one pair. You Big ask Sean. a nigga how many Yeezys they have right now. They have way more than Big Sean's. Yeah. They got like 20 pairs of Yeezys. And these are niggas that never wore Adidas. So if they're going to say, I can't wear New Balance, it's because nobody told you they okay yet. Kanye had to tell y'all Adidas was okay because he was there. Okay when right Kanye now. go to New Balance, right that's when niggas go on New Balance. New Balance is okay right now. All right. New Balance is good. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm, I'm going to get some, but I, I don't know. I just can't bring it up. Don't wait too oh, long. I find them a 13. All the good ones going to be 13. gone, and they going to be out here like dunks in a minute. Why? New Balance going to turn to dunks if they stupid. 
They gonna slaughter them out. They done dropped 13 protection packs. I'm sick of I you got, niggas. I got it's more than 2002 R's, bro. Y'all gotta get different models. It's the same fucking model. Every every person got the same one. I don't like that shit. That's that trendy shit. I actually brought one of the new balances that really started the hype. For good, now. good. And I bet you half the room never see them. Guarantee. Never. But when they see it, they're gonna be like, no, I'm gonna wear those. I yeah, bet you so fucking would. This oh. started it. This yeah, started look, see? it. That's the Amy Leon door. 990. That. That yeah, oh, shut yeah, I bet down. you do. The whole Soho got no, shut down because of that. That's the Amy Leon door 990. It's a collab. Niggas don't wear Amy Leon door, but they wear the shoes. <laughs> yeah. So. Shit just... I had the Teddy Santas like this, and they was making fun of my shits. This is a 990 V2, yeah, correct? Yeah, that navy and green yeah. and gray and yeah. yellow and <laughs> shit. It's a like 990 that, V2, right? That's what, 20, yeah, that's 2020? 20, 2020, 20, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 2020. That's when nobody was buying that's New Balance. When, oh, yeah. yeah. Nobody paid attention. Nobody knew. Nobody was really... Nobody was jacking it. That's a fact. You had to just be on yeah, your shit to know. Yeah, no, I had them since 2020. I mean, these are the pairs I couldn't mm -hmm. touch. I couldn't get these. I didn't, I didn't have no yeah, connection. This was like a pair that... Niggas is lined up for New Balance. Hold on. Because the collab. That's when people go, oh, no. And then Teddy, the guy that owns uh, reset Ahmed, on this color, like six. Ended up being like the. He he works with New Balance now. Teddy so, said to so create like his own line of like just standard New Balance. Yeah. Amy Leon is a brand owned by Teddy Santis. Um, and he does collabs with New Balance. Now he has a job at New Balance. Yeah. And he's their creative director. director. So you're going to see a lot more of uh, his tones. Because he's a tone guy. A lot of his shit is like earth colors. This is more earthy. Simple shit. Though, yeah, he too. don't do a lot of like red. Yeah, dogs. this is like for the store. But overall, like a lot of his shit is like simple. Yeah. Mm. I got a few did bring his a joint. shoe that you probably haven't seen in a while. I haven't seen it all, so I want to know. Oh, okay. I'm for one. sure you haven't seen it in a while. In a while. In these, in this oh, God, the white ones. <laughs> Ain't no Chris Webber. It's Tim Duncan, what? man. You haven't Before seen he went these. to Adidas. These shits is heavy. Yeah, yeah but so? <laughs> we didn't give a fuck about heavy. I needed them. Yeah, so then, I like the black. Yeah, the I black was my black. favorite. The white shits haven't re-dropped since 2004. Nah. You know what's crazy? When these dropped in 98, right? My neighbor on the first floor, JJ, shout out to Jay, he had these shits. Right, and I, that was the first time I ever seen them. I was like, nigga, where the fuck you found them? And my mom's got them for me. I asked his mom, Miss Jackie, how you get this? Oh, his cousin told me to get it. I told my mother she saw the price. Yeah, price she was like, listen, I don't know what. That shit was a kidney what? back then. Like this is 98. Yeah, this is like 180. No, no, no. The year no. was 98. But it was like it was 180. 180. I think when they first came out, there was 180. I was in seventh grade. Oh, you think rip. my mother was spending that? These shits was never cheap. Because <laughs> you got to think, the phone posits was like 170. Plus tax. And this shit got the, the air unit. So and your they, moms was not paying 200 yeah, for those shit. This shit got the air dude. bubble. She was not with it. She was like, more I'm comfortable than actual phones. You going to get these flights, nigga, without the bubble. You don't need a bubble. That's my mother's favorite shit. You don't need the bubble. I need the bubble, oh, show the, um, the Stussy. Oh, I'll show some more shit. Oh, yeah, show these is the Stussy Penny. This is a collab. Um, this model was actually one of my favorite Penny models. I'm not super... Uh, I don't really care for this shoe. I just, they got a black pair, too. The material is like a canvas. Like a, like a fucking Chuck Taylor. I don't know. The bubble is like colored in. I've never been crazy about this penny design. Because they they're supposed to have a little silver thing right here. They, they changed yeah. all that. Yeah, I'm talking about, I, I know how the, the, the two. original shoe look, like yeah. the design and shit. But yeah. Probably because I like them other, the, the bowls. I, yeah. Once I see no, those, yeah. Yeah. I can't fuck with these. Yeah. This shoe, I'm not yeah. asking. That's six gray memories. I need that. The OG to this. I need, yeah, I need the black pair. Yeah, I need I did that. a black and blue pair, but those. The reason why I would wear something like this because I feel like I won't see nobody else wearing it. No, you would. People wear those. Surprisingly. Yeah. People's wearing this with a sensual yeah. sweatsuit. People wear them. 
They for cheat. Sure. They, like, they you not already know what the look is oh, going to yeah. be. So, yeah, nah, yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the whole look that sent you. What this the generation color after us just then... said everything is leisure. We just doing sweats for life. Yeah, yeah I'm niggas don't even want this. jeans no more. Like these little yeah, niggas, be is dirty like... looking with yeah. a haircut. Like how you dirty looking but got a cut? You ain't even gonna put a fit on with your cut. You ain't even gonna have a cut for two niggas days. Niggas wearing basketball shorts under these denim. Niggas looking dirty, skinny. expensive shit. Yeah, You're right, that's and that's why I hated designer because it be on the dirtiest niggas. That's who be wanting it the most too. The most grimiest, hoodest, crustiest niggas. A merry down. You go to their house, they got backwood guts in the sink. Hey, my nigga, you. Niggas don't get nah, that. Your cologne people, is four hundred dollars. Because people can identify don't even what they toilet. have on, so yeah. it puts you Listen. in a certain status. Like, oh, she got a Mary's home. She got this one. You got you got to identify the whole outfit. Yeah. So, nah. You get oh shit because it's from a distance. Niggas might not uh, not acknowledge you in your face. Like, oh shit, but a nigga might be like, oh shit, bro. He got. I don't even want that kind of attention. He got that up. I don't but want that kind of attention. They do. Yeah, I know. They do. Because the men be looking at y'all. It don't even be the bitches. Like, that's be the funniest shit about it. Like, bitches don't care. Yeah. Do no, you they have care money? When, you, when you're spending money. Do you have yeah, the money? Yeah, I don't give yeah, a fuck yeah, about your they, jeans. Yeah, they do care you have money? When we money. go out, can you pay? Yeah. Your jeans are nice. Where do you live? Yeah. Okay. The women, there's certain women, there's the women that care about the dripping. Yeah, they don't and there's care the about women the looks, that they care about the looks, though. Like, how? They drip if they don't know you. Yeah. If they don't know you, they care about what you got on. Right. If they know you, it don't matter. Like if they already like. If she like you, she like you, bro. Yeah. yeah. And just don't that's fuck that's it up. Like, they can be saying stupid shit. Wearing, that's what it be. That's just like a first impression. She don't know nothing about you. She gonna look at look at what you got on. Yeah, they definitely looking. They got to. Nah, they don't care. That's what killed me too. Every time I go to Atlanta, I be seeing these fine women in Walmart. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Down south, they don't even wear sneakers. Everything is slides. <laughs> they drive everywhere. They get out the car, slides, socks, black, nasty little hood ass Atlanta niggas. Until they go out. They don't go nowhere. They go to the block. Nah, they go. They Bro, what club. do you mean? They club. The hood in Atlanta? What, what club for what? We gonna go outside with the dope fiends. Them niggas gonna oh, do some entertaining about shit. The, you talking about that's, the niggas that's just on a block? That's New York. New York niggas is like just go outside and don't. Depend on where you at. Uptown, yeah. Don't nobody want to be outside in Brooklyn. It's too gentrified now. Yeah. You can't just have hot yeah, dogs man. on your porch no more. Go to Emily's going to say go something. Go to Williamsburg. Williamsburg ain't us. That's the Mexicans in the, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, it ain't us. And, the, and the, you know, I can't say who else over there. Yeah. It's hot. Got some other shit. Cancer. Ooh, that's a rare one. Yeah. You know what these is, Joel? Yeah. He has no idea. Huh? What? What is it? Uh, no, no, it ain't Jordan. Yeah, it's a Jordan. And what one though? It's a different. It's, this is a special one. Right. This is a Spike Lee one. It's like one of how many? Like thirty, if that. Maybe thirteen, some shit like that. No, it's not it's a lot of these. It's, it's a little more than that, but it's not a lot. Not a lot. You had to put in work to touch these. Yeah. This is not even Spike first shoe. I don't, I don't like the dark blue with the black. Huh? No, well. See, that's the Mars Blackman right there, if y'all don't know. It might not be a market for them because there's so few of them. What would you be willing to pay for? Me, I wouldn't pay for nothing like these. He don't. Nah. He want, he want SB4s, man. He want SB4s. That's it. That's I wouldn't pay, I wouldn't pay crazy bread for these, SB4s. though. The yeah, all he no, want to do. Macho Man get a Jordan 3? <laughs> it might happen. <laughs> Send it in. He's gonna give you a slim gym. Give Roman three. Reigns a shoe. He's gonna give a yeah. slim gym. Give gym. Roman a shoe. You have a slim gym three. It's not fake. <laughs> get it's not fake. Who can you sight. body slam right now? Yeah. Don't get him. You can't. Uh, it's not fake, bro. I'm telling you. Uh, 2018. You gotta be strong. I think that shit is real. 2018. 2018? Yeah, something like that. 2017. And this is a Brooklyn, this is a sample, right? Yeah, it's a sample. Yeah, in Brooklyn, it was dropped in Bed in uh Bed Star, right? Yeah, it's Spike Sleep. Spike That's his, uh, store. Right. 40 acre store, right? Mm-hmm. And you got the date in the back, 8886. And that date that symbolizes what? What? The date right there. Oh, that's the year um what's the name came out? Uh Mars. No. Uh she's gotta, oh, she's have, gotta it. have it. That's the character, yeah, yeah Mars. Yeah, yeah right. so 
the Spike one Lee third is because Nola was talking to three, three guys. Yeah, so Nola was wilding. Of, yeah, one third of a man. They came out with other shoes, though? Yeah, Charlie like, should though. The whole, whole package. They gave uh, Spike Lee a four back in the day, the Mars 4s. It had the same logo in the and corner. Six, right? Yeah, I had those. Yeah, I had those, too. I, had those. I paid top dollar for them shits, too. I paid early, like 280 that was wild yeah, back then. 280 back then yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, was a smack. Insane. That was a smack. 280 was like yeah, insane was back then. They was only 140. I, the I paid I double, but yeah. I got them two oh, weeks early. Back then, yeah. that mattered. Yeah. Like, if you had the Jordan before they came out, you was somebody. Now, pff, let's, let's talk about his favorite shoe of all time. What, my favorite shoe of all time? Yeah. This? Yeah. It's not <laughs> for the year. <laughs> for 2023, so far, this got it to, for me. I'm for taking me. those. On your feet. Yeah, I got man. both. You get both. <clears throat> I like these more. I've had these five times in my life. That's cool. Yeah, but damn. These not standard fours, though. Fam. Yeah, exactly. Nice. See? You're right. Look at this. Look at this right here. They don't fall do that. That's so when you skate, your shit don't break and stab you in your shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's Jordan, Jordan Brand brainwashed them. Yeah, the wings is folded. You can't do that to no four. This is so you can skate. You put, ain't no, they move this open a little bit. They feel better. Ask these are comfortable. Case. You say you had performed in fours and they hurt. Yeah. You can perform in these. I work in these shits all the time. I had to stop wearing them too. They just making fun of me. Yeah, hundred. I don't even care about the price. I just care. I just like that nobody have it. For the frisbee. See, he's a hater. Is it the, the gum? For, no, just for the frisbee. Because yeah, no, it's white. People have it. Don't not like them, that. Don't let them tell How you. How many that. people you see wearing these recently? People nobody. Have them, no. We're not gonna say people don't. No, have I'm them. not gonna say nobody don't. People, people, people have them. People don't have these. People right. have people, those. Oh, yeah, you're right. People let's have them. not. Let's not confuse the two though. All right. People these are not, not that exclusive. People, All right. Let's. No, no. People have them, but are people actually wearing them? No. They're not. No. Not really. There's hair in there. Not really. It's here and there. Like, I don't see that many people wearing them. Nah, I, I see, see more people on social media right. wearing them than in real life. Yeah. But people are holding on to them. People are reselling them. But people do have them. Yeah. It's a great shoe. It's good. Right. For the year so for far. I pay retail. This is my favorite shoe for I 2023. I would pay 500 for them, though. I didn't pay 500 for them. No, I'm just saying. Oh, he yeah. said they were five. I'm not paying They up five. there. I'm not paying the five. Or, or they might go down. Or it might go down. Because if they drop another color and another color and another color. Please don't do that. I know right. they will do These will go down. These will tank. That's cool. Hell no. They that's, do them shits 12 times. That shit going to be nothing. Shoot. That was the only color they dropped right there? So far. With the SB so far, yeah. You know it's more pure. It was supposed to be an all black color. He just out. said Nike. What He knows what Nike does. Right, right. You just said that. You just said that, so yeah. you know. They got me, but you they got know. me for certain certain shit. You know. Like those, I won't go to my hood. I won't see nobody with those in my hood. I'm like that. I like that. That make me stand out. Like, damn, you got those two facts. Like, you niggas will never touch you. That's good. I like that. I like that. They look like some Jamaica ab joints. Yeah, you know, yo, where you got these, bro? I've never $40 seen them before. The facts. <laughs> never seen them. Good shit. Right, what you about to show? Because I'm going to match that. Oh, shit. Oh. I like force food. He don't like forces, so. Yeah, yeah nah. But what Virgil did, that's that's timeless, though. It's, niggas it's beautiful. Was, niggas was cutting bandanas and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave us some shit that was it's like. It's tough. It's tough. <sighs> I'm aware of them. I probably wouldn't buy them, though. They expensive. Just because they got the Louis, like. Oh, he brought the red ones. You gangbanging. Boys versus Crips. Yo. Word. Relax. I like the red better. Yeah, Red's my yeah, favorite color. Like yeah, me too. Yeah. I like the red ones. Yeah. Cool. The blue. Blue's calm, though. Blue's calm. Uh, you get some shit off with the blue pair. It's just like... I'll definitely use these, though. It's amazing to see it. To yeah, see that, like, crazy, they man. actually did it. Like, Nike and Louis Vuitton said, listen, people been making all shit fake for decades. Let's Forever. just do it. Canal Let's do specials. It. Virgil made a call. He wants to collab. What do you want to do? Let's do it. And then Man, you get yeah, this. Well, he, was, he was partnered with both. With right. Both parties. He probably so. brought them in the room like, listen, man, if I make this, people will wear it. What would retail be, Virgil? Whatever y'all meant it to be. Right. I don't care. Retail is 3000 Without this, man. And you have to have spend a certain amount at Louis to Without even be this, man, able to purchase. Without this, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
without, without, yeah, 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 without, without, told without us. this man, there was no, no this man. True. I wanted these shoes bad. When He's the one. The whole world wanted them He's goddamn the... shoes, man. I remember when the link dropped on Twitter, I was like, oh, okay, it's over. Too late. Yes, uh, Oh, no. Uh, With the laser. Laser. I know somebody that could do those. Nah. <laughs> yeah, this is where they opened their store on, um, what was what, Miami? Bleecker. I know they, they did Bleaker? one for Miami, too. They say Bleecker Street on them. Oh, that's probably the Bleecker Street. Yeah, that's before they had moved. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They was doing it in the store. They was lasering the shoes and shit. What size is that? Uh, 10. Oh. These worth some money, too. Until you wear it. They worth whatever price somebody thinks they worth. Honestly, because that's... Tell me a little screwdriver and shit. What's this for? Laces? Uh, it must come with some kind of hardware or something. I don't know. Let me see that They shit. always doing something with these Air Forces, man. Yeah, I'm over them. Yeah. About them. Like, I don't... And they put, like... These are like regular yeah. horses, though. Yeah. They're not even like premium. Like, you gotta stop that, too, because they know what they're doing. Yeah. They'll make this those. Is, this is one wear. Like, look at the blue ones. Yeah, the blue yeah. one leather compared to that. Yeah, this two is two different shoes. Yeah, that's one but it's wear. the same shoe. That's foul. That's one wear right there. Like, that's. Yeah, I was about to say, I'd rather wear some old no. whites than a... You make How a wrong turn those? in these. Ooh. Thousand. I'm gone, they limited. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What did it what's turn the your last sale for those? Five what? Five thousand? There's only thirty pairs, like thirty pairs. Oh wow. No, but what's sold for five pairs? <laughs> Let me see those A Yeezys. Pair? Yeah. Wow. All right. Wow. That's crazy. Yeezy Red October. This is the shoe that made him the most powerful man in sneakers since Michael Jordan. Me, you, and Michael. Um. These did not come out in a store. They released on Twitter via Nike Link. Yeah. And if you've seen days. it, you've seen it. And if you didn't see it, you was paying the high for these. This is when sneakers. This is when sneakers turned to like businesses for people. That shoe and Galaxies is yeah. like the shoe that because I um yeah that was the shoes that really set out. Yeah, it got to a point where people were making real money off of like yeah. these shoes. This is like it's traded day. Some nigga on. $1,300. Some nigga on Craigslist. <laughs> he traded his car, bro. Yeah. He traded his car for the Galaxy. Yeah. $350 for the Galaxy. Yeah. That's fire. This started the all red trend, too, by the That's way. All red shoe. That, that they cool. just. Yeah, it was never a thing. An all red shoe was never a thing. Yeah. So you could thank Kanye for the big yeah, dumbass red, red boots. Yeah, boots in No, somebody tried to sell them the other day for $800. Nah, it's too late. It ain't retail now. He said, I have two pairs. I have a six and a 12. He said, how much you want for them? 800 each. I said, we'll pass. You, you bugging the fuck 800 out. 800 each? 800 each. The only way I would have seen came in here. If he hey, yo, shorty, five, you come back in here. Don't. I would don't. say I could get content around it. A oh, little punk ass. That boy. was the only thing. If he wanted five, y'all yeah, probably could have got content around it. Yeah. That would have probably been the. Uh, you know what, too? I wish I could have gotten them boots and made some you content been with custom. it. I would have did some fire shit with them been boots. Custom. Cause niggas is corny. I'd have been everywhere in them boots. You want to do content? God damn it! I'm sure you. You go to church with them shits on, and you get the reactions of them people in church. Nobody did that. <laughs> you going to what? I just pa gave y'all free fucking money. You going to pass the uh, whitehead? I'm church? going right to the collection plate, and I'm going to get blessed in them boots. Come as you are. That's what they say. I came in my boots. I just left the club. Couldn't miss church. Go in Security would probably would have stopped you. No, they can't judge. See, that's the problem. Religious people tell me the most judgmental people, and they tell you you're not supposed to. That's God's job. He made the boots. Let me rock. All right. He gave that person the idea, right? That's what they say. That shit was just showing how dumb people are. <laughs> Niggas are oh, yeah. anything. Yeah. They start driving them t-shirts with holes in it. And we all bought it. And I, I had them too. I ain't buy it. I had them. I bought holy shirts with bleach. We did all that dumb shit. I stopped. I grew up though. Niggas was making money on bleach t-shirts. I was selling them. I found a bootleg nigga on Flapper selling. Remember Muhammad Ali died? Rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. 
They had shirts on the table, three dollars. I said, "Give me all of them." Went home, threw them in the tub, bleached them, washed them. Went to get set, sold every shirt. Genius. And when we could never get that off again. Something so easy, but Gallery did it with the paint. Oh, they got you, niggas. Oh. Yeah, that shit said, was what a remake of Mas- sell it two thousand. Mas- Maskeen, it's ready. It's ready. They stole that from Maskeen. At least Maskeen had real paint. Like yeah. Gallery's like spin off of Supreme. No, it's way nastier. They made bell bottoms trend. Sweats. I'm just talking about like they hold the bell bottom shit. jeans. Bell bottom sweats. They stamp ashy hoodies and they, yeah, they sell pop. Levi's. Yeah. Those were denim tears, right? Levi's. Yeah. Yeah. I like the denim tears though. Yeah. I like it's the trendy. denim tears. You won't like them in, in a year. No, they no 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 no. <laughs> so but I do. Like I them. just for the flick. I sell them after. <laughs> you know how we do it. That's for the grab, baby. You That's get that terrible. right back. I'll take three fifty. Flip them shits. Chrome, yeah, Trade them for shit. something. But yeah, Chrome these Hearts is, uh, used to give Chrome Hearts used to give away they shit. Yeah, the shit back they in the day. was expensive with the jury. Mm-hmm. People would buy the jury. That's the shit that's worth the Accessories and shit. Yeah. That's what the bikers and all that used to fuck with. They used to, shit, that's really just merch for real, right? Yeah, like they the Hell's to, Angels. Yeah. But this is the shoe that made Kanye leave Nike. A lot of people didn't know that. Like, they told him... No royalty. Man. Yeah, they told him no royalty. Well, that was after the fact, when he wanted to restructure his deal. But before, they told him they don't know when his shoe is coming out. I feel like Kim K had something to do with that. Though. Angie Mont- he went on Angie Martinez. and she said, when are the red ones coming out? She said, Nike told me yeah, they don't she, know. Yeah, she had something. And then the next How week, they was on Twitter. Royalty? She's probably so trying to teach him how to get real money. Huh? It helped, though. Yeah, it did. I'm saying, bro, I'm in the culture for real. You I don't... What? Oh, him? him. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm nobody. We know that. I like to wear shit. At least Terrell wear his shit. Now, see, that's the era we from. A kid would have came in here with these in Ziploc plastic. Yeah. Never opened them in years. Like, oh, these are the don't, don't, touch, don't touch unless you're blind. Yeah. Like, Please don't touch. You saw the one on Instagram, the kid slapped somebody's hand. I'd have knocked his whole fucking table over. This is a sneaker show, dude. You got, yeah. I don't care about that no touch shit. Don't bring it. What got y'all into sneakers? My Life. Older, my older brothers. My uncle sold crack. Nah, my it's older brothers and my, my mother. He's been doing 30 years right now. It was 100% true. Because my uncle was fly. Okay. He come home, he put money in the shoebox, go back outside. I'm like, where's he get all these sneakers from? He had the blue pennies first. I'm like, you got the blue pennies? Damn, ain't them shit $200? He sold crack. Had a convertible yeah. Chrysler, went to Coney Island. He was the man. Yeah, drug drug dealers and people that had both parents had yeah. phone positives. My cousin PJ then. used to hustle, used to sell weed, had the Griffies with the suit. I'm like, oh, nah. I need this. I don't know what they doing for it, but whatever they do, I need to figure out how to get that shit. That made you want to get sneakers. Yeah. Sneakers yes. The focus was, how can I get that same shit without that that carrying a gun? And Nah, you were supposed to it. sell drugs. Nah. Yeah. No. I would see niggas my age get arrested. The old niggas used to tell on them. I'm like, yo, I'm not selling weed for them. Fuck them niggas, man. Yeah. Niggas was going to juvie for two, three years because the old nigga told. It was this st- little nigga. He had the gun. I ain't had the gun. He would have got stripes still, bro. What stripe? Nope. He did that for Jordans and he's in jail with Skippies now. It wasn't worth it, bro. So I was keep washing cars. I went to the car wash on Pennsylvania Avenue. You know what that was back in the day? No clue. Whoo, that's East New York. No, it was a status thing. It was Michael Jordan and, and my uncle. Like, watching Michael Jordan play in Jordans made me want them shits. Like, I didn't want to play basketball. I just wanted them shoes. And you watch Fresh Prince, he got them on. Martin right. used to wear them. Marlon Wayans used to wear them. Like, I need the Jordans. It was just like a thing. You just wanted the sneakers. Like, and it wasn't even like now. And now they got names and collabs. It was just the Jordans. Whatever the Jordans was for this year that came out in September, that's the new model. If you had the old model on, you you corny. You can't have the 12s on when the 13s is out. He in jail right now. He be out 2030. He close. He close. He went in in 2000. He's on America's Most Wanted and all that. Yeah, my brother, that was the What happened to his shoes? You cleaned them? You fixed them? He gave them away to my older cousin, and I was pissed about that because that nigga had no swag. And he was a football was nigga. Us? No. But my, my cousin didn't know about sneakers. He was just a regular dude. 
My nigga, he don't know what to do with blue pennies. He lives in Binghamton. Who the fuck he taking the blue pennies to Binghamton? He ain't why nobody. Ain't, why ain't them to you? He didn't want to sell drugs. He didn't want to sell drugs. <laughs> Nah, I want to take the rap for him. And I seen him on America's Most Wanted. I was like, oh shit, it's over, man. Grandma might yeah. have to get a job now. I ain't gonna say his name, but I'll tell you after. <laughs> Grandma never paid a bill. She might have to get nah, a damn. Definitely my older brothers um, and my mom's too. She was into that shit. So my brother made my mom into it. My brother used to chat with her. Right? Yeah, my oldest brother, the same shit. Yep. Yeah. What to get us and shit. He was in, he been in the sneakers, all that shit, fashion. Yeah. He sold drugs too, though. That's what niggas was doing it for, for sneakers. Yeah. Yeah, so he... 150? Oh, no, nah, I got to go get that. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah. 150 for sneakers? Nigga, you don't live in the suburbs? That's when niggas get raw for their shit? It was difficult. Now it was all easy. Everybody could just go on the app and just buy the hottest shoe from the safety of their home and walk around their cul-de-sac and take fucking HD pictures and get all these followers. These niggas don't even go nowhere. Yeah, back basically. in the day, you really used to have like a relationship with like the mom and pop stores. And yeah, you know. man. Cause you had to. Cause how else would you go get the sneakers when they come out if you don't not cool? They not gonna hold your Twenty dollars, like you you could get shit two weeks early for like twenty forty dollars extra. Nah, yeah, it's a store. Like it wasn't even like a hundred. Uh, yeah. Extra. Yeah. No, to get them early, like yeah. two weeks early. Nah, I know a store in Yonkers, a little um, Asian store. You get them niggas twenty dollars extra if they know you a cold. Yeah. They hold it for you when they get them like that. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what they used to do. You could pre-order your shoe, you give them the yeah. money early, yep. and you come they get your shit. They used to show you the calendar, like what was coming out, how, like yeah. what pairs. Like my mother used to fucking. I used to put my shit on layaway. Like, all right, the Jordans come out on the twelfth. It's the third. I'm gonna get this nigga money every week, yeah. until the t- every other day yeah. till the 12th, and I'm gonna get my shit. And they would do that. Now, nah, they don't even got the picks. The nigga that's waiting at the tape. Yeah, yeah, they don't even got the picks. Yeah, yeah. They backdooring it. It's they, over they with. They selling it. The culture is dead. The resellers. They killed it, man. The sneaker shows used to be like where you like show off what you got and like you sell like rare. And sneaker you can shit. find shit too. You can find like shit you was looking for. You go to sneaker shows now, everybody's selling the same. Because everybody want to look cool, too. Everybody wearing the same shit. Yeah. And that shit is frustrating because there's so much good shoes out that people don't care about because they're not on TikTok. I think, you know what it is, though? You can't even let that shit bother you, bro. Like, I don't. Frustra- I wouldn't even be frustrated about it because I know I'm not, I'm not from that era. I know, I know what it is, is like from. the futures looks bad because they're going to burn it to the point where I hate this shit. And I don't want to get there. Because then what I'm going to do? I've been buying sneakers all my life. Yeah, you like. Man, yeah. but that's easy now. Remember how no, it used to that, be exciting to get a sneaker you've been exactly. waiting for a minute? That's, yeah. I don't get excited for nothing no more. You got excited for those. Man, but I, I came to work, bought them right there. I didn't have to do shit. No, you did it. Back in the day, I would have had to really like go around, talk to niggas. Yo, I need a ten. But what are we doing? Like it was a chase, and then when you yeah. got it, it was like yes. Now it's just like yeah, I got them shits. It's no fun no more. It's like I think maybe you got to start going aiming higher. Nah, I got to get more exclusive shit and spend more nah, money. That's, that's, that's crazy. Cause I, I'm going back and I'm buying old shit and just getting them redone. I'm yeah, getting them been, fixed. We've been doing that though. I, that's how yeah, I got into fixing sneakers. Not, that's not a thing now. Like, I started I, I get excited sneakers. when I'm buying 99 Bread 4s and White Cement 4s because yeah. it's totally different from the shits that's dropping now. True. So, like, something like that, I'm, I'm getting 2002 Olive Nons. I'm excited about that. It's different. Because why? Because you have to search. All right. It's but a challenge. It's there. Exactly. But it's yeah. there. It's out there. Yeah. That's the shit that gets me excited now. This shit is like... If I get it, I get it. Because it's easy. You could have got those with I no problem. Care. That's why. If these shits was like one of 150, you didn't like, hmm. What, what, maybe. What was 150? If it was one of 150 pairs, you'd have seen them a little different. You might have liked it more. I like them. Yeah. I'm just not paying that price for them. Oh, but that's fine. That's, yeah, that's I not like crazy. Them. I, don't, I don't dislike them. I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, I don't. And I've that's been downsizing, bro. I don't really... Yeah, bro. I've been downsizing because it's like, 
Where it's getting, I don't care for it. No, care to niggas done had a hundred pairs. Yeah, niggas done did a hundred pairs. I don't care to just have the call. Oh yeah, I got those. Right. I don't care for that anymore. Like that shit is like. I do like those Wizard Threes though. Those are fire. That I forgot I, I got. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I was still fine. She was like, oh shit, I forgot. And, but I, I'm a nigga that don't feel like I got a lot though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But niggas, the people around me were like, nigga, you bugger. Yeah, yeah, mad man. shit. Probably. Yeah, yeah. but uh, compared to the niggas that I know that's really into it, because again, I'm a convenient nigga. Like, I just, when I go places, I gotta have. I just know I gotta have like new pairs of shoes and shit. If I'm gonna have some shoes, I gotta have some like yeah. some shit for my brother. And you buying what you like too. Yeah. And that's really- that's where you know a lot of people are just buying into what it's becoming. Beats, like, yeah. You know what I'm oh, resigns. I don't know. I've been in some shit now where I really just been buying black. Like anytime I'm shopping, like I like buying from niggas that I know that's selling. So if I know I gotta go somewhere or whatever, and I know I gotta be mindful of how I'm about to look and what I wanna wear, if I got some shoes, instead of me going to the mall or something, I'm gonna go shop. They call my niggas or what you got, and I'm gonna. Yeah. That's designer to me. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, other than that, like I don't really care for the big labels. Like I done did all of the. The other shit, you know, the Louis and Gucci's and all that. I don't really care to be spending money with that. That shit is corny. Yeah. Like, them shit's right. hurt, bro. Nah, like, I, I've done it, but it's just like, that shit's like buying a car, bro. Like, once you leave the lot, it loses it's the like, value. What, too? Like, it's like... So all that design and shit, once you walk out the store, you can't even get retail. Yeah. The shit shits. with me is like, where niggas even be going for real? Like, niggas be going three miles from the house. And spent two thousand dollars. Niggas going to the hookah bar. Bro. You went three Who miles, bro. You could have wore a sweatsuit. Could have, but they had a dress code. And it's dark in there. They had a dress code. Like even if you go going somewhere, they don't got a dress code no more. Money to promote some nigga shit. I don't give two that shits don't about, give you. Fuck about you. Like, I just think you know, what you stand sh- for, nothing. The shit for me, the shit be ugly for real. But I be saying, like, if you seen these shits in Zara for forty cash. You wouldn't want them thick ass Balenciagas. You want them because they're 900. That's the only reason they get okay because they're expensive. When people see them, they're like, oh. That goes back to what Instead I was of being saying. like, them shits look like so shit, bro. But they're 900. It puts you in a certain, yeah. certain conversation. Yeah, yeah, no. I wear wrestling shirts because I like wrestling. How about that? I like when Where would you like who you are? Yeah, you I, yeah oh, you got that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah the yeah, question was like, what, what is that? You got? Oh, yeah, I yeah, like that. Yeah. I like that conversation. But, you know, there's some shit on YouTube, man. What? How to sell the Negroes in 1957 or some yeah, shit. That's, oh, that's not hard. You make no, 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 but it's the same shit that's happening today. It's going to continue to happen. And, and that was in 1957. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they already had yeah. the tricks and trades of the shit. They had us figured out yeah. a long time ago. Oh, they, been, they had us once they made Kool-Aid. <laughs> they sold us a pack of color and you just add sugar. Yeah. What the fuck was that? What was Kool-Aid, bro? What was it? It changed the color of the water and you added sugar. It tastes the same. You ever notice that the red tastes like the orange for real? What? Then we bought it. We bought grits. I don't know what grits come from. That shit just come in a can. You buy any fucking thing. You sell your kids chicken nuggets and y'all feeding it to them. You don't know if that's chicken. What does chicken smell like? You don't know. You ever killed a chicken and cooked it? So you don't know what the fuck chicken smell like. And Chinese. we buy it for the toy. Chinese food, all that. I ain't mad at Chinese food because I ain't died yet. Never been sick. Who died from you... chicken nuggets? Oh. Who, who died from Kool-Aid? Just like thousands Kool-Aid. of black, millions of black people have diabetes nah, but, but because of other, Kool-Aid. There's other shit that goes into that too. Though. Like what? They sold us fucking cereal with what? What what nutritional value does Lucky Charms have when a kid just go pick all the marshmallows out and move the other shit? That's not the point. My little girl give her a box of Lucky Charms. You know what she do? I want cereal. Throw the whole fucking bowl in the garbage. You know how much cereal costs? Put make this the other shit look good too. Put something on them oats. Nah. 
Now my little one might have diabetes because of the Lucky Charm. So stop giving her Lucky Charms. What you gonna do? The f- you can't do it. <laughs> they no. Fuck, bro, they program them, bro. They watch these apps and these cartoons and they give them the, the commercials. They see We're a little not, leprechaun running around to a rave. I'm not taking her food it. shopping. So you gotta Shit. stay home. Ha! Boy. Ain't we no didn't way. have a church growing up, bro. Oh, we, I, well, I yeah. did. Shout out to moms. She let us pick our shit. A lot of people didn't have that privilege. When we went to the store with my mom, she kind of let us do our thing. She would she would just bite the bullet. Like, you know what? That shit ain't on sale, but if they There's shut up. There's some Kool-Aid. There's uh, some Lucky Charm. Nah, mom. We, ain't really, we did Kool-Aid to Together. a certain point until my moms realized, Together. like, yo, that, what the fuck is in that shit? She was putting Kool-Aid in the Lucky Charms. Man, we used to make Kool-Aid ice cubes. Yeah, that's and normal. And then put Kool-Aid on the... That's normal. People Diabetes. Niggas was eating ices from the icy lady. Yo, yeah, remember yeah. the big pork, the long icy, the blue shits. Yeah. But they don't make those Mad no more. Why they stop? Color. Yeah. All right. All yeah. Right. They put it in us, and now our kids just got. Oh, man. They get dark, bro. Get dark. They been fucking with us. The shit they sell around our way, they don't sell nowhere else. Nah, for sure. I never seen a liquor store. No, let me shut up. I don't really, I don't really like the new style. Like, I don't like the new style, but I do like how these niggas is writing though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas' bars is really doing some other shit. You know what I mean? Like, it make me want to like really tighten my shit up. Like, this is a whole new way of rapping now. But as far as the performance and all of that, they all doing the same thing. Cause what happens is you got one nigga that a pop that that come from where they come from. And they got to look at, okay, why is this nigga lit and I'm not lit? We had the same opportunities. So they're going to look at how he's rapping and feel like they got to do it like that. But they feel like that's the only way. So now you got a bunch of niggas sounding like one nigga. And they all, it's like a bunch of niggas trying to get through the same door. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't, I, I don't really like that shit. So I like being... Um, True to yourself. Yeah, I like being me. I know yeah. it can't be another John John. I know it can't be, and if it is, niggas gonna be like, "Yo, he sounds like John, John John." Right. Yeah. They, they, they never, you never could compare me to nobody ever. That's a good segue. Two, two last questions. Um, the non battle between you and Pablo. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Like, what's something in common? Oh, like shit. How'd you feel in that moment? Was that your moment to like? Uh yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't more so about the name to me. The name was just the comparison because niggas was trying to say like I got my name from him, and that got annoying because I'm like yo, nothing about me uh, tell you that I want to be like this nigga, right? Except for my name, and my name was my name before I heard of this nigga. Just because y'all knew him, right? Before y'all knew me, don't y'all mean. trying to do yeah. all that, and it was just like come on. So then that just got annoying. But Holla was one of the first, like, top 10 niggas to actually embrace me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was one of them niggas that was just like, yo, like, I had a battle in New York, matter of fact. That was another battle I lost. That was, that was like, the first battle where shit got lit, and I battled in New York for the first time. I came in wild deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Holla was there wild deep. It was a bunch of, like, queens. He embraced me. And then I'm in there, like, I got Queens niggas on my side. The battle just wasn't going my way. I battled a nigga lot of Zay, and he fucking name flipped me to oblivion. Like, he just, <laughs> every John name flip you could think of, and they was just landing. Like, and it was just one of those type shit. But, you know, he embraced me, but, um, like, some years later, I was about to battle his man Moneybag. And, um, and I let him know. I'm like, yo, there's too many comparisons between us. I'm going to take some shots at you in this battle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just giving you a heads up because you've been embracing me. It's love. I don't want mm-hmm. to seem like I'm backdooring you. This is battle rap. Let me take some shots. And then he was just like, ah, you know, we laughed it off or whatever. And then the battle happened. And then it picked up. Then I did a diss track. He got mad at the diss track. And then, well, you know, yeah. Like, he got niggas calling me. And I'm like, yo, bro, if this nigga got a problem with this diss track like that, like, okay, I guess I can't do nothing about it. I'll see him when I see him. Like, 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not worried. Like, I don't give a fuck. So, um, but that's what that was. Shit got weird. And I ain't seen that nigga for like two years. And then that's when I went to the face off when the fight happened. I'm pretty sure you heard about the fight yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then once the fight happened, that picked up more steam. And then he tried to use that. The battle actually started, it got booked. And it was the main event in London. So at this particular time, like, yo, I right, yeah. Like, I get the main event of Summer Madness, nigga. Mm. Summer Madness is WrestleMania. In fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... As a battle rapper, you want to get to know in Summer Madness. That's what Fire. you want to do. And I think I got the third most Summer Madness appearances behind Calico and T-Rex. That's fine. Calico is Mr. Summer Madness. Like, he's like one and shit like that. So he's the I got all battle rap Shawn Michaels. To it. And then um, I ended up getting into a situation right before it happened with my ex. I got into a situation with her. Like, she tried to really like on some hate and shit get me locked up before the battle because she wanted to go with me. It's like a whole different story. She went all the way That's there? Why. Yeah, Yo, women? So she, tried to go, she tried to go public with him and try to paint me out to be like some woman beater or some wild shit. So it became a whole angle and all this. Like, But I was locked up and then I, I wasn't sure if I was going to be out in time before the battle. So by the time they let me out, they let me out Maybe Thursday or Friday early Yo. morning, like six in the morning. So I only had time to leave, shower, go to the airport, and fly to London. By the time I get to London, it's Saturday morning. The battle is that day. I can't check in my hotel till Yo. three o'clock. Yeah. I got a haircut appointment. I just got to jail. I got to get my shit cut. Like I gotta. I don't even got no real clothes. Like I'll just grab some shit on the way. Like if you watch that battle. What I had on, I was just grabbing some shit. I'm gonna keep it a hundred, like. So um, I'm running off no sleep. I'm super sick, to the point where I'm on a, I'm on a plane, and I couldn't doze off because my nose was running. And you know, in the international planes, I'm sitting in the middle. I got two yeah. old ladies, so I got to keep getting up. Excuse me, excuse me, going to the bathroom to blow my nose. I'm stuffing wild tissue <laughs> in my pocket, but my my mind is like all of this is working against me. But it's like I only got one chance to battle this nigga. This shit been built up for years. This is like my biggest moment. I'm main event in Summer Madness in London, nigga. Like, so I can't go up there with no type of excuses. Like, it's like nothing. So I get up there. They they want to judge the battle. Al Capone. They put some money on the line in that in that in that Versace robe, and then I won the shit. They we they asked us if we wanted the battle for the name. I was with it, just on some competitive shit. Mm -hmm. But he made a good point. He was like, "Nah, like your name is your name. Like my name is my name. Right. You ain't gotta, nobody yeah. gotta lose that for nothing." Like, right. So I, I felt him on that. Um, but right. yeah, but once I once I going through all of that and winning that particular battle, I think like that was my end game battle. Once that happened. I felt like I, I, I'm i all the way solidified now. Now y'all can't bring up Hollow to me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't bring up certain shit to me. So it's just like, that was the one. Especially with all them odds stacked against me. Like, that was a big battle for me. And Hollow was a GOAT, too. You know what I mean? So, back. you know, that that, that was... Did you have a uh, relationship with Snoop Dogg? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I fuck with him. I spoke to him. I ain't spoke to him in a while. But yeah, you can say that. Gotcha. I feel like if I call Snoop, he'll pick up type shit. Oh, you don't. Also, really quick, um, Little Bow Wow in 106. Yeah. What's your relationship with Bow Wow and how did your experience go down? Oh, uh. Oh, Shay? Nah, Bow, Bow, my nigga, Bow, Bow been around. You know, my brother, my brother do a lot of his managing and shit like that. Yeah, my brother did a lot of his managing and shit like that. So I've been around. Bow since like 2005 playing ball at So So Death with JD. You know what I'm saying? We knew JD before we knew Bow and shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? And then with 106, they reached out to me. I didn't know audition for that. And Bow and them didn't know I was coming until like the producers there told him. Then he called me like, nigga, you coming to 106? Why you ain't telling me type shit? Like, so that whole situation just so. But from that battle though, um, the ratings went up when I went on there because the whole battle community tuned in. So this was something that 106 wasn't getting with Freestyle Friday at the time. So now they're looking at it like, who is this nigga? Mind you, when I got there, my brother's in the building. Bow was in the building. So when my name is coming up, it's being spoke to people like, yo, like, handle with care type shit. So now 
the people in the building, they don't know who I am. But they just know Bow and Bart is talking highly of him. Uh, these other niggas, they told us we should get him here without no auditions. It's a whole nother side. And then when I do the battle, the ratings literally go up. So now they're like, who is this nigga? What'd he do, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, nah, because he's a battle rapper right now on URL. He the hottest new nigga on URL right now. What is URL? Oh, this is smack. Oh, can we get him here? Now Freestyle Friday turned into Ultimate Freestyle Friday. That's when we saw smack. Being a judge, right? Wasn't he? Oh, he, was oh, he was hosting it. Yeah, he was hosting it. It was URL battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, yeah. Came from yeah. Yeah, he was hosting it. You know, so that was a that was a uh, that was a monumental move there because nobody from URL was going to 106 at that time. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to do it because we getting paid over here. That's yeah. commercial over there. Yeah. Why would we yeah. risk our name over here to go lose to some rinky dink shit? Like, and that's what happened with me. I lost to some white boy that I really didn't even lose to. <laughs> like it was split, and they tried to bring me back immediately. They was mad that the judges voted for the white boy. They wanted me to come back on the wild card, but I was already mad. I was already on some. I shouldn't have did this shit. Like yeah. mm. I got up here and I yeah. fucking blew it. Like that's how I felt. Like nah, y'all niggas robbed me already. I'm not <laughs> about to come back. Fuck, I went off online. I went crazy on Twitter on all them niggas. But you know, it ended up being that situation. They started looking in, and then I linked smack with Bow, and then you know that's where that shit came from. That's fire. So it helped. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. What can we expect from you moving forward with you got coming up next? Yeah, I got I got some shit lined up. I got a couple battles in the works. I got uh my league bullpen battle league. Um we going on tour starting July thirtieth, eight city tour. We go around, we throw in different events in different cities and we throw in tournaments to find newer talent. You know what I mean? Cause that's what we that's what we do at Bullpen. We try to find our own stars, our own battle rap stars. And then everybody will know all oh, these niggas came from bullpen type shit. So, hey, yeah, that's what's going on, man. And I got an album dropping, Status Flow, sometime next month. I wanted to ask you that. Why more battle rappers don't put out, like, music, music? Simple answer, man. We, we, when we put out music, it costs us more. Battling, we make money. It's not easy to make money off music. Yeah. So, it's an easy way to get distraction. It's like, all right. I'm going to put out music whenever I got time to do it. In the meantime, nigga, I'm going to get these checks battling. Right. And I'm getting my name up battling. People people going... More niggas will watch your battles than they listen to your music, man. Fact. Like, that just is what it is. So niggas don't really want to jump out there and take that take that chance because sometimes it's not worth it. Like, I've been working on my shit for some time now, and I got it lined up the way, okay, now my shit, my album is done. So yeah. I can do battles, and as I'm doing battles, I have something to promote. I don't necessarily got to be in the studio. I got shit ready. Yeah. So as I'm battling, I'm locked in with that, and I'm promoting everything else. I'm promoting the album. I'm promoting the league. You know what I'm saying? Um, wow. that, that type of shit. Like, but yeah. Well, we thank you, brother. Yeah. All right. Appreciate thank you for pulling up, John, John, and Don. Right. Appreciate oh, that. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Love. Thank you. This is the stock room, and we'll see you next week. Peace out. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. Make too much, you can't let me go. I hit it blow, I take off like me go. We playing foul, I'm taking a free throw. Blues my color, them hunters, or we know. Do what I do, and as far as she know. Foot on my neck, put some ice on my ego. Neck and some pussy, all I really need though. My we designer, we puff it, and we go. She a honey tamale, yeah, we know. Outside, them niggas catching a vibe. Deep throat up in a whip and a rock.